Hello. Thanks for tuning in. Games Workshop sent me one of these models, which is a Swamp Boss Scum Drek or a Snatcher Boss on Sludraker Beast. And I think they're pretty cool, so I'm going to tell you all about them while I while I build it. I'm going to build a Snatcher Boss on Sludraker Beast and tell you what it is and what he does. I hope that you enjoy it. Before I can tell you what the Snatcher Boss is, I need to tell you a little bit where he's from. He's part of the Age of Sigma Auric War Clans faction. The Auric species is loud and brutish enough to shake the mortal realms to their very core. War and unreasoned violence is the reason these hulking, green-skinned warriors entire existence. They find a primal pleasure in punching, smashing, gouging, headbutting and slashing everything that dares challenge their indisputable might by the act of standing within their reach. Every act of destruction and violence they commit is nothing less or more than an act of worship towards Gorka Morka, the god of destruction and primal violence. In the face of such reckless aggression, no civilization will be ever stranger to a war and bloodshed. Now the Auric War Clans are broken down into four sub-factions, Bone Splitters, Greenskins, Iron Jaws and Cruel Boys, which is where our Snatcher Boss is from. Now the Cruel Boys are a cunning but brutal faction of the Aurochs, who make their homes in the swamps and bogs of the realms. They are known as the cruelest of the cruel, though few realise it, the cruel boys have conquered their way across the swathes of every realm, making their lairs in those areas no one else wants, and growing steadily stronger in the anticipation of the great war that will see all other races running before them. They love nothing more than covering shiny things with muck, toppling the mighty from their pedestals and destroying things of beauty, just to prove their creators aren't so great after all. In some ways, the Cruel Boys are the most fearsome breed of Auroch there is. Certainly, the veterans of the Dawnbringer Crusades fear them more than any other kind. They are experts when it comes to taking prisoners from the ranks of the enemy when they do battle in the open. For unlike the Iron Jaws or Bone Splitters, they have mastered the concept that not all adversaries need to be bloodily dismembered as soon as possible. The Git Snatchers of Cruel Boys culture long ago realised that living enemies can be more entertaining than dead ones. Once back in their lairs, they put their captives to a variety of horrible deaths in order to further their agendas, or simply for a good laugh. Each Git Snatchers tribe is ruled over by a Snatcher boss, the cruelest and most cunning of the lot. These repugnant individuals get their way through their intimidating reputation, bolstered by terrifyingly inventive acts of revenge. Should a Snatcher boss be truly angered, he will turn every waking hour towards the demise of the one who riled him, though it might take months before the coup is launched. Such a rival might find himself waking from a toxin-induced torpor, neck deep in a barrel full of scorpions, dropping through the floor into a pit of hot coals after being pursued through a stifling jungle, or flayed alive by cackling hobgrots as a wyvern's paralytic venom floods through his body. To cross a Snatcher boss is to court a truly awful demise. It is considered a great status symbol amongst the Snatcher bosses to harness a Sludraker beast. One of the greatest carnivores that haunt the swamps, with lanky arms strong enough to break a grunter's skull, drooling jaws full of rock-coated teeth and a tail like a muck-encrusted cat o' nine tails, Sludrakers are formidable indeed. These are not simple mounds of muscle and bad temper like the war beasts valued by the Iron Jaws but stealthy ambush predators that know instinctively when to submerge beneath the swamp scum as they stalk their prey, and how to level a single strike before withdrawing in the knowledge that the wound will swiftly become infected and ultimately bring their victim down without any further exertion on their part. Sludgerakers also know how to keep the upwind of their quarry so that their scent does not betray them, which is just as well, for they have a truly eye-watering stench. This is mainly caused by the greasy, oily secretion they exude to make it hard for other creatures to grapple them, but it is also down to the habit of eating all manner of slimy, repulsive swamp beasts, yet never cleansing themselves in any way. So disgusting are these beasts that the Git Snatchers will wipe their blades on a sludge raker's belly before battle. The rotting muck there is so noxious it will leave a nasty infection with the merest scratch. Only the stalwart cruel boys can stand the presence of a sludge raker beast for long. To ride one to battle is to show that you are strong of stomach indeed, and prize power far more than comfort. Pity those captives grabbed by the Snatcher Boss and forced into the crow's cages hanging from the Sludge Raker's yoke-like mantle. For not only do such unfortunates have to endure close proximity to the most foul-smelling beast in the Amber Realm swamps, but also the cackling boss's vivid descriptions of the fate that lies in the store.
for them at the journey's end. Now, a lot of this horribleness is very much represented in its rules that you can find in the Battle Tome or in the Instruction Manual. The Snatcher Boss on Sludraker Beast is a 315 point leader behemoth that is also single. Fit. A Snatcher Boss on Sludraker Beast is armed with a chain linked grappling hook. The unit Sludraker Beast is armed with grasping talons, a noisome bite, and a thrashing tail. The Venom Encrusted Weapons Battle Trait applies to the attacks made by Sludraker Beast's grasping talons and noisome bite, even though it's a mount which is essentially a 6 to hit with any of these weapons, will cause mortal wounds instead of normal damage. It has 14 wounds, it moves 8 inches, has a 4 plus armor save, and it's only bravery 6. The chain linked grappling hook is range 3 inches, it has 3 attacks, it hits and wounds on a 3 plus, it has a rend of minus 1, and is damage 3. The noinser bite is 1 inch range, it uses a single attack, hitting on 3s, wounded on 2s, with minus 1 rend, and the damage degrades. On full wounds it's d3 plus 3 damage, then it, as it drops to 6 to 8 wounds it is three, d3 plus 2 damage, after it's taken 9 to 11 wounds it's d3 plus 1, and if it's taken 12 or more it is merely d3 wounds. The grasping talons are 3 inch range, and it has 6 attacks on its full profile, after it's taken 6 to 8 wounds it drops to 5, 9 to 11 it drops to 4, and 12 or more it drops to 3. It is 3's to hit and 3's to wound, minus 1 rend and 2 damage. Finally the thrashing tail is 1 inch range, it has 2 attacks, hitting on 3's, wounding at 2's at its full profile, dropping to 3's, 4's and 5's. It is minus 2 when it's rend and damage 2. The Snatcher Boss has two special rules on its war scroll. It has Sludge Rake of Venom. The underbelly of a Sludge Raker beast is coated in a rotting detritus, encrusted marsh slime and the beast's own excretions, a highly virulent mixture which is used by nearby cruel boys to coat their weapons. What this does is add a mortal wound caused by Venom Encrusted Weapons battle trait and the unmodified hit roll was a 6 and the attacking unit is wholly within 12 inches of any friendly units. Now this does not line up with the Swamp Caller's Charm is Poison and Elixir's ability, it is only on an unmodified 6. The Snatcher Boss can also snatch and grab. A Snatcher Boss and their Sludge Raker Beast work together with terrifying precision to seize a victim, disarm them and stuff them into a waiting cage. Once per battle, at the end of the combat phase, you can pick one enemy model that has a wound characteristic of 7 or less and does not have a mount and is within 3 inches of this unit and roll 2d6. If the roll is greater than the enemy model's wound characteristic, it is slain. Straight up. Slain. Pretty cool. <laughs> and that everyone is my story about a Snatcher Boss on Sludge Raker Beast. Now this is a pretty cool model and it was sent to me by Games Workshop for free. So thank you to Games Workshop for sending this for a review. Now I appreciate this video is a little bit different, um, but I won't lie, I'm not really in the headspace for making a proper coffee time as normal and I didn't want to give you another live stream clip and I didn't want to miss a week again. Um, so thank you for everyone for understanding and taking a little bit different. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video with it anyway. Um, I had fun making it. I got to build a cool model. <laughs> it is very cool. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please like the video and uh, leave a comment and let me know what other miniatures you want me to build and talk over the top when I'm not really in the right headspace. <laughs> Hopefully, that's not very often. If you want to support the channel, you can. There's loads of links in the description. You can become a member. You can buy some merch. You can join Patreon. Or you can subscribe on the website too. And otherwise, thank you very much for being awesome. I really appreciate it. And um, hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye now.